Hi, my name is Daisy, and I want to welcome you to the presentation today. The library has many resources to help you with your job search. If you've tried networking and searching for job postings online, it's time to take a more proactive approach by making an effort to identify potential employers and inquire directly about job opportunities. In this presentation, I'll be sharing with you a company database called DNB Million Dollar Database that will help you create a list of companies to target in your job search. You can access the database from the Career Services page on the library website at www.library.drexel.edu slash careers. You'll find it under the Company Directories Research Guide. DMB is a company database, not a job database, but our subscription features about 15 million companies from across the US. Since we're interested in creating a list of companies rather than searching for an individual company, select Advanced Search. You'll see a long list of criteria to choose from. First, you'll want to select a location. I usually recommend selecting either zip code to search within a certain radius of a zip code or simply selecting MSA metro area. I'll go ahead and select the Philadelphia Camden Wilmington metro area, which would include Philadelphia and the surrounding cities and suburbs. Be sure to click on the Add to Criteria button on the upper right to make sure your selection goes through. Next, you'll want to select an industry code that reflects the type of company you're looking for. The U.S. government has two sets of codes used to classify companies by industries. The SIC codes were established in the 1930s, but due to rapid changes in the U.S. and world economies, the NAICS codes were developed in 1997 to replace them, although both sets of codes are still in use. DNB allows you to browse the industry codes by opening and collapsing the tree, getting more and more specific the more digits you add to the code, or you can conduct a keyword search. There are times when using SIC codes are preferred. SIC codes are typically four digits long, but within DMB, they can be up to eight digits long. This means that you can get more specific in certain categories. You can drill down to specific types of engineering. Unfortunately, NAICS codes only have one general code for engineering. However, if you are using NAICS codes, it's best to conduct a keyword search on the census website at www.census.gov slash NAICS. Not only do you get a more in-depth search, you also get a written description of what the code means and what it includes. Visit my research guides under career interests to see some recommended industry codes for you to use. Of course, what code you use and how general or specific the code is all depends on your personal interests. Another way to find an appropriate industry code is to search within DMB or Hoover's, another company database, for a company that you're already familiar with and that you know is in the industry you'd like to work in. It could be a larger, more well-known company, a previous employer, or even a company that you've applied to. When you scroll down the company profile, you'll see a few things helpful for job seekers. A company overview, the names and positions of people in the company, and if you scroll to the bottom, the primary industry code for this company. Hoover's also has this handy LinkedIn feature, which alerts you to whether anyone in your network works at this particular company. If you don't have a LinkedIn profile, you should definitely consider opening one. It's a great networking site for professionals. Once you've found some industry codes that work for you and have added them, you're pretty much ready to go. There are lots of other criteria you could search by. You might even want to try searching for Drexel alums by searching under executive biographies for Drexel University. Of course, not all companies list executive biographies, and you'll only get results if the alumni is a top executive in the company, so it won't pick up just any employee. Just click on an individual criteria to remove it from your search. When you run your search, you'll get results for companies that fit the criteria you specified. Once you get your results, you can view each company's profile, which gives you basic company information, such as location, phone number, website, executive names, and more information on their industry. 
DMB also allows you to export up to 100 records at a time. Simply select the Build File button from the upper right-hand corner of the results page and choose between either an HTML or PDF report or a table which exports the data as an Excel spreadsheet. You can then download the file onto your computer or device and use this list of potential employers for your job search. So while DMB may not be the magic bullet for finding a job or co-op overnight, it's an excellent starting point for identifying, researching, and contacting companies. Best of luck in your job search and contact me if you have any questions. My contact info is right on my page, which would be right here. Right? Did I do that right? Yeah, right there. Bye.